how's everybody doing so I wanted to show you this tank right here um, the only problem I got with it's got a little bit of a twist to it um, it's not the greatest thing but I think it'll work all right um, all stainless steel so we're gonna try to put it in um, you know hopefully that twist ain't gonna be enough to bother me too bad um, we'll see how it goes but anyway yeah dropped this off yesterday at noon time and uh, you know nice looking job nice looking wells called me up today at 11 o'clock says your tank's done so anyway I'm gonna pick this back up like I had it the other day with the straps that are sitting there and uh, we'll see if this tank down here we'll see if that tank will fit in um, yeah guy's name is Bill Mason um, got a little welding shop I thought it was pretty good service anyway I'll bring you back in a little bit well everybody it's evening now um, <clears throat> it was a hard fought battle We've got clearance here now. Um, I got lucky here. When he originally welded this tank together, this fit in, he welded on backwards so that the taper was from the inside out and you couldn't start a, couldn't start a pipe into it. Anyway, it was just a very freak thing that he did it that way, but he also had it about an eighth of an inch down lower than what it is. So when I went back over to have him put the new one on, I said, adjust that up as far as you can up and to the right. And it got it in to I got about a sixteenth of an inch of clearance. Over here, I got about an eighth of an inch. No matter how you slice it, it fits. Um, <clears throat> and it's a beautiful stainless steel tank, you know, which you probably saw. Um, yeah, so we're right in business on this old girl. Um, Tomorrow afternoon, it'd be late, I'm going to drill and tap that little hole right there, and I'm going to put a screw in that. Just a little brass screw or steel screw, one or the other, just to hold that tag down. So nobody decides to bend it and peel it off or nothing. And other than that, I guess it's good enough to go to the show with. So I may take the oiler off and change out the oiler, because this one's got a broken glass. And uh, I probably could put oil to it if I could see the dripper part. But I can't see the dripper, so it would take a little work. I'll probably wait. I'll probably put a different one on. I got plenty of oilers. That's one thing I have plenty of. And uh, anyway, we'll set it down on the trailer here and get ready. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. Hell, everybody. We made it to the engine show with a the thermoil. And I had enough people here, I didn't get the camera out when I started it, but it started the first time on the first crank. And it's running. So. The governor hunts a little bit on it, but it's not bad. The original oil I was broke and it had the vent tube in it. This one here, if you open it up, I need a vent tube. You can see the bubbles going up through. So uh, anyway, it don't take much lubricate. I just squirt some oil on the face of the hopper and it runs down onto the cylinder. So it's running good. This is seven horse V diesel made by Hercules. And we're at a pretty nice uh, engine show here. We're down at the Rate Homestead in Elliott, Maine. And, uh, people everywhere. So anyway, I'll bring you back in a little bit. Get off this shaky uh, trailer. 